One of the main aspects of husbandry is what we feed our zebrafish. We feed our fish a mixture of dry food and live food. We feed zebra feed by Sparos as our dry food, which comes in four sizes. And for our live food, we feed rotifers. The smallest feed that Sparrows provides is less than 100 microns. It's a powdered form that even the smallest baby fish can eat. As the baby zebrafish grow, they can start to eat larger foods, such as the 100 to 200 micron pellets, 200 to 400, and then finally the 400 to 600 micron pellets as adults. Our baby fish get fed three times a day with the smallest food, about the amount that's at the tip of the spatula. And our adult fish get fed twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening with this 1 16th teaspoon scoop. Here is an infographic of a few of the main types of live food that are fed to zebrafish. They include artemia or brine shrimp, rotifers, and paramecium. We chose to grow rotifers because they are very nutritionally dense. They're easy to grow and grow in very dense quantities. This is what a young, healthy zebrafish looks like when its belly is full of rotifers and dry food. So here's our rotifer setup. We have a small mini fridge that is kept at four degrees Celsius with our algae in it, which has a peristaltic pump attached to it. And it pumps out algae to rotifer buckets every couple of hours. These rotifer buckets are five gallon buckets with an air stone on the inside to keep it aerated, as well as filter floss to catch any debris. We do daily bucket dumps of about 20 to 50%, depending how much ammonia has built up bucket overnight or throughout the day. Additionally, we also replace the filter floss every day to help keep the debris down in the bucket and re reduce the ammonia. These rotifers are harvested every day and they're a staple for the diets of young zebrafish. We also feed them to adult zebrafish um, to improve their breeding and to give them a little treat. To collect the rotifers, we dump each bucket through a 120 micron filter and a 50 micron mesh. The 120 micron mesh collects any algae and debris, and the 50 micron filter collects the rotifers. Removing this excess debris helps to keep the ammonia down. And here is our rotifer harvest. We rinse the rotifers into a beaker using a spray bottle with five parts per thousand salt water. Rotifers can survive in salt water ranging from five to 40 parts per thousand with 15 parts per thousand to 20 parts per thousand being the optimal salinity. We can keep this rotifer harvest on our bench top to use throughout the day. However, we need to add an air stone and some algae to feed them. They will easily survive in the five parts per thousand salt water. However, they will not breed very readily.